What it do, my boy? I've been, uh, my last couple videos talking about this little fairy hipster shit. Like this little self-improvement. Drink coffee and fucking meditate and... What's the next thing on the docket? Journaling. I thought about it. And I was like... Alright, let me try to say this without just like repeating what all the little fucking funny mustache boys on here. Little waxed fucking turned up mustaches say... There's one guy I'm talking about in specific. His whole fucking channel. His whole entire thing he does is just talk about fucking journals and Philip K. Dick science fiction books. It's like, fuck, if I ever got like that, I'd just have to go to that fucking safe in there. But, uh, the first thing, the first importance of a journal is the concept your brain has all these fucking directions. The me the yogi fucking awareness practice dudes, they'll pretty much just tell you, like, a lot of this shit thoughts in your brain is just bullshit and distraction and it's not really yourself. And then there's, like, a small little bit that focuses on what you're doing in the day-to-day -day in the material realm. And you have to be able to capture them as they pass by. And are drowned and flooded with all this other just, oh, that fucking dog's orange. Oh, that fucking, there's a crack in the drywall. Ah, 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 over and over and over and over again. Till you forget what you were originally doing. So for me, the main purpose of a journal. Because I could be, say some cute little hipster shit and be like, oh, dude, it helps me like document days. Like I'm fucking... Some Marcus Aurelius motherfucker, Ryan Holiday, queer soy boy. But truly, when I think about it, it's like, I can write out a time block, a list, or anything to get some shit done, right? But as long, if I'm not like, if I'm not, say I'm in the wood shop, right? I'm fucking crafting something, thinking I'm fucking... Bob Ross and that son of a bitch, I'm going to town, sanding, I'm just like listening to my tunes or some fucking podcast, and I'm just sanding away, and then it's like, oh fuck, I need to look for this book that I placed in here somewhere, that, it's, I want to, fun fact, it is a Philip K. Dick book, the Android Sheep one, so, I, I bought it, and then I brought it to my wood shop, thinking that I w might have a chance to read down there, and it's what I wanted to read in my first little hour stint of reading in the morning. And then I can't find it, so I'm forced to just fucking pick one of these that I don't really care about at the moment. So I tell myself, all right, look for that book. And then a thousand other things happen in the morning where I fucking forget it. But you write that shit down in a journal or even a concept or whatever. that It could really be endless the possibilities of what you would write in that motherfucker you could write some weird fucking ted kaczynski type shit in it if you wanted to but the main thing is building a habit of checking it that is where writing in it writing in it you write it down put it into physical form and shit like that that little bit of an extra step might help you remember it but the main benefit and this is getting it down to like pre-k level is l going back periodically throughout the day repeat repetitively over and over and over and looking at it and doing that instead of pulling your fucking phone out and start scrolling or start looking at some bullshit or start playing with your penis or whatever the fuck you do that is like resistance and procrastination throughout the day that is the importance of a journal in a nutshell is it keeps you on task keeps you uh going and uh so I don't get too fucking hustle culture on you here. There should be periods of breaks. I take an hour break for lunch and cook me up something nice. And maybe watch something on the TV. But you shouldn't be... If your goal is to consistently create shit over and over and over and over and over and over. Uh, use up all that juice up in your noggin, if you will. To your fullest potential. Then you should utilize these tools I've outlist I've listed out in this video and the last couple videos. Meditation to gain energy. 
think of it as like a true break, rest, nap, whatever you want to call it in the day that refreshes your ass. Exercise. So an exercise that you don't have to think a lot about, like a plan or a program. That way you can just fucking go down the list, get it done, and be out and not and think about other shit while you're doing it instead of having to remember your sets and all this shit. Cut, cut the variables, cut the guessing work out in your life. Uh, what's the other one I fucking just made a video on? Uh, well, I could just list a bunch of shit, but like the meditate, the journal, fucking that shit. There are merit to these corny ass self improvement habits that people fucking speak to death about and habit trackers on time management that's another one but utilize these those couple last couple videos i made were i feel like were pretty useful if you want to get a basic grasp on this shit and to go a little bit further in the fucking journaling do not or do what you want but i would not recommend maybe for building up journaling as a habit if you're like one of these like autistic people where you do something and then you really want to do it. You you understand the value of the practice, but you can't instill it as a habit. It's really hard. Maybe you would benefit from these things, but there's these cringy fucking things out there where it speaks to just like habitually for like no real reason besides fucking like telling other people you journal to write down what you did that day, like, dear fucking diary, and then just some, like, a little protocol, and journaling should not be a fucking protocol to check off a list because it does some woo-woo thing that somebody fucking told you in a statistic. Journaling is an organization tool, organizational tool that we've used for fucking thousands of years, because no matter how smart you think your big fucking brain that can fit in a fucking ice chest is, it goes in all these different directions, and you can't keep those thoughts on front of mind at all time. So build up the habit of writing them down instantly in a journal, fucking idea for something, a task, uh, this, that. Mainly I do it for, like, concepts, and then... Whenever I'm bored or have free time, I open it up, look at it, and try to work it out and think about it a little bit further. I like to instill the, like, active meditation, meditative practices. Uh, for example, that'd be like, say I got something in my journal, like, figure out a cool leg, figure out cool legs for this, like, fucking table I'm trying to build, right? Got that topic. Cool legs for table. Cool legs for table. Know what the table looks like. I know what the table looks like. I'll go and I'll walk my property, my trails, for a little while. And chew on the topic. It's what fucking Einstein did. It's what your boy does. It's what all these motherfuckers do. That Steve Jobs would do this. And I'm not trying to compare myself to Steve Jobs or say, like, Oh, you gotta be like fucking Steve Jobs, dude. No. Just... Look at and observe what the fucking greatest minds, most revered people have done. Try it out. And for me, I tried it out. And what do you fucking know? That little bit of like mobility with your body switching up the way you think helps you come up with things. So, yeah. Journal, jot down, fucking, and then walk. Hmm. Legs for table. Think about it like that. Chase paper, enjoy nature, my boy. I'll see you all in the next one.